Hello everybody, this is Chrono Joel, and um, we're going to attempt to repair my uh, dying and dead uh, computer power supply. So, uh, if you heard the other vlog, my power supply fan had stopped spinning. So, um, I'm going to attempt to catalog my repair attempts. We have here a 8mm, uh, I think. Let's see here. Uh... Uh, what this size? We have a this size fan, eighty millimeter. My bad, eight millimeter. Dirt. And we have a hundred and twenty millimeter, same brand. Best Buy, less than fifteen to twenty dollars between them. Um, so first thing we're gonna do is open up the old computer, and you're gonna see my cludge job I did, which is cool. Alrighty. Here we have the wonderful internals. The GTX 460. My uh, Gigabyte motherboard. My really, really dusty heatsink. And uh, there's the uh, offender right there. Now, uh, as you can see, I've kind of got a kludge smaller fan in there. And that's its job is to just blow straight down onto the uh, heat sinks and uh, I got this little thing in here cut down on noise what is that why it's a little bent uh, casing for whatever the hell that is inside of power supply okay so we got the power supply visible we've got to unscrew it from the case make sure these four screw here all right so that's loose now, what you're supposed to do is disconnect all the power connectors, yada yada, blah 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 blah. I'm lazy, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to pull this out, set it up so it's not going to fall down or anything. Like such. And we'll take it apart. Um, four screws on top. Hold that down. That one was under a uh, sticker for verifying a warranty going bad and whatnot. We're going to go ahead and take this apart too. And yes, I am holding my camera while attempting to unscrew things. One-handed computer repair, everybody. Crojo specialty. Doop. All right, so we got our four screws from that. Extra screws from the old fans. Uh, this little guy needs to hang out over here with those guys. Oh no, 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 no! I'm sorry. This is for the case. This guy needs to hang out. Okay. All right, so we're not as Poorly organized as I thought we were. All right, let's see here. How's this come apart now? Just kind of like that. Ish. All right. So this was the case fan that I uh, hacked up. That was actually in the case. And you see, we got a nice solder job there connecting to. Um, the actual connectors inside the power supply. I'm trying to figure out which way the airflow is supposed to go in this. I'm thinking it's down across the fins and then it will be blown out that way as opposed to sucked in that way. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to go. So we got to make sure that our new fan blows from this side into the device. So uh, I'm going to need both hands here for a second to uh, disconnect that there uh, plug and uh, get my soldering equipment ready because this guy has a four pin connector and as you can see maybe if it's not too blurry is that guy only has two pins so um, I'm going to uh, pause here and uh, take it apart and when you get we come back we'll be soldering see you later all right so as you guys can see we have removed the standard four pin connector from uh, the end of our new fan um, it has four wires so I had to identify by looking in the PC case which two I needed and it's these two here which have been stripped um, one is shorter than the other because I failed at um, stripping the second one properly but uh, it'll be okay so um, black goes to black and red goes to red. 
Conveniently. Except now I'm starting to doubt myself. So, uh, it's a DC fan, so if I screw it up, it's gonna blow in the wrong direction. So we'll just have to see what happens. Um, so, uh, when you see me next, we'll have soldered this together in this configuration. And, uh, we'll see what happens from there. And here we can see, um, we got them both soldered together. I've already taped out the black wire, and, uh, I'll tape up the red wire. Now we'll go ahead and uh, install it in the uh, housing for the uh, power supply. We got our uh, two pin connector once we had a four. And that is attached now to our nice Insignia brand uh, cooling fan. We look on here for the arrows to tell us which way the airflow goes. And you see one arrow pointing that way and the other uh, uh, somewhere. Come on. All right, there we go. See the one arrow pointing up, and that tells you the direction of the airflow. And the other pair arrow pointing to the left, that tells you the direction of fan spin. Now, if I wired this properly, that's going to be correct. And if I wired it improperly, that's going to be backwards. So we're not going to know for a while. So uh, now what we want to do is put it inside of that guy. That's our fan housing. Um, the way this is going to work is we're going to take our nice little uh, grate here. And it goes right there and then this guy with our arrows pointing inward is going to get bolted up under it on the underside thusly now I'm going to need two hands for this so I'm going to put you down again when you get back on those big ass screws are going to be holding that all together and then it's just a matter of uh, plugging in the plug and putting it back together all right so, uh, sorry, we'll see you guys in a second. All right, so we now have our uh, replacement cooling fan installed. We got these nice little uh, shiny screws in there. They self-tap into the plastic on the uh, fan housing. And um, what got you now is plug her in. So if you see right there, those are the... Uh, Offending pinouts. This is gonna go right on top of it just like that Blip. Right on top of it just like that and we're gonna plug it in again. This is a two-hand job. So I'm gonna put you down for just a second All right, ladies and joins as you can see there everything is back together We just got to put our four screws back in Which are these teeny tiny itty bitty ones right here I think we can do this with one hand here, maybe I should actually point my camera at what I'm trying to capture instead of pointing at everything. This is the hard thing about doing a video log of you fixing a computer, which is a two-handed job using only one hand. Sometimes you don't get the shots you want. There we go. And there you have it. That is how you put together a... Uh, power supply fan after it's uh, burnt out the one it's got or you could you know buy a proper replacement fan and that's designed for the specific purpose then you can cut out all the soldering <clears throat> all right let's come over here and screw it back into the chassis all right there we go we got two of the four screws in which will allow me to uh, put these other two screws in a lot more easily Supposedly, theoretically, grammatically. And if we did that right with our soldering, then this thing will be working properly. And if we did not do that right with our soldering, I will probably hang my head in shame and then try and fix it. Um, so um, I'm going to go ahead and put on that other extra little fan I had in. But you don't need to see that. It's just a lot more screwing. All we're going to do is take that plug and plug it into um, the uh, appropriate port. If I can figure out where the heck that is. Yeah, right here. See those three pins right there? That's where the uh, next plug's going to go. So, um, Colonel Joel here. Hope it didn't make you too sick trying to do this by myself with one hand. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and, uh, ridicule.
Bye. All right, here we are, about to test. Let's see if our fans are spinning properly. Get that out of there. I can't tell. Feel that one blowing inward. Is this one blowing inward also? Or is it blowing outward? That one is blowing outward. Excellent! We did not wire anything wrong. So, uh, we're good to go. I'm going to turn this off before it gets too far in the boot process. Because, uh, I have to replace the hard drive next. Thanks, everybody!